Here he go. Niggas get blocked for saying shit like that because I really don't know what that means. Here he go. Is that like, oh, here he go talking shit again? Or like, what does that mean? Like, you need to explain yourself. Like, right now, are you going to be blocked? Like, you need to explain what that means because I really don't like that type of energy. And if you don't explain, you're still going to get blocked. So you need to do something either way it go. Oh, a nigga think he's slick, huh? Watch this. Quiet, huh? All right, don't trip. I'm just gonna go when the periscope is over. I'm just gonna go to your account and block your ass. All right, don't try to hide now, nigga. And not say nothing like I can't find out who you are. What's good, nature? I get a bag for that. Huh? I just um sitting here about to talk to these children real quick. Thank you. Excuse me. But yeah, um but on the flip side, so like I said earlier, I was sitting back thinking all this shit and I was putting all this shit into perspective. And I realized the pattern, right? I realized the overall pattern and the equation of this pattern allowed me to process an understanding of what's really happening. Okay. So I've been on a couple of big tours, like very, very big tours, right? And I noticed that the crowds be literally full of Caucasians. No one else. Major tours crowds be full of Caucasians. Major sports crowds be full of Caucasians. Major anything be full of Caucasians. Now, I tried to tell myself, what is the overall purpose of Caucasian people really supporting this? Remind you, we're not going to go Mexican. Right? We're not going to go racist. It's not a racist statement. So before your little racist meter turn on, we're not going racist. right? We're just trying to process this. So I started to ask myself, what is the purpose for maximum Caucasian people supporting hip hop? What is the purpose? Right? And it, hey, there is hella white people that show these games, but none of them actually want to rap. None of the white people actually want to do music. They just want to support it. And it's not that they can't because Eminem showed that you clearly do music. So it registered in my head. This is part of the epic distraction. It's part of the epic distraction. If we show up as a collective and make these stupid ass niggas feel they're important by standing on the stage and actually talking about nothing, we can keep more people distracted. I realized this shit. I realized this shit. Fuck hip hop, dog. 
fuck all of that shit. My nigga, last night, I spent hours studying how magnets work, though. Did you know if you put a magnet, if you drop a magnet on a copper plate, my nigga, the shit would slow down in midair? If you drop a magnet on an actual copper plate, it will slow down in midair. Now, if you put another magnet under the copper plate on top of, with a magnet on top of the copper plate, the other magnet will float in midair. Midair. No, float. I realize, right, there is so much information that we don't know because we're spending so much fucking time trying to rap. Ask yourself this as a fan, right? Ask yourself this as a regular fan. How much hours have you put into watching shit that will not help you as a person? How much hours have you put into watching World Star? How much hours have you put into watching stupid ass? This is how we do. I want to move when I move when I'm up in the club. This is. How much hours have you put into watching shit that literally does nothing for you? Think about. I want you to really think about this for one second. Disrespect to Fifty Cent, but I want you to really think about this for one large second. How much time? have you put into hip hop and then at the end of the day you realize this song really didn't teach me shit I don't know nothing right think about this dog no 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 I'm not dissing nobody I'm not taking nobody credit from them big shouts out to all the rappers that made it successfully big shouts out to all y'all but y'all niggas are cancer too because y'all made it right Think about this. Every rapper that made it now niggas got alcohol. Do you know alcohol is one of the most reasons why all the aborigines are done? Nigga, we're not talking about Native Americans because them niggas fake too. We're talking about actual black people that was here first. Nigga, they introduced alcohol to all the Native tribes. Niggas, fuck. So think about this. Most of all the mainstream rappers have their own alcohol. Think about it. Hey, buy this Ciroc. Oh, buy this vodka. But yo, it's crazy. Like the setup of this shit is, it's like epic, right? But think about this, right? No disrespect. No disrespect to none of these rappers. Right? No disrespect, because I don't want nobody to go go to YouTube entitled. They like this is Fifty Cent, or they like this is this, or they. I don't diss nobody. So for all you niggas that rip my videos and put them online with random titles. Just so you can get views. Cut the crap, dog. All right. But what I'm saying is. I had to really sit back and tell myself. I wasted so much fucking time listening to music. Imagine if you would have put on audio books the same way you on a, a CD. Right? Imagine if you were to put on an audio book, this audio book about genetic engineering, audio book about motherfucking how the atmosphere will work, audio book about nigga the properties of electrons and neutrons. Yo, think about this stuff. Think about this if you would if all the time you put in the hip hop, right? All the time you put in the hip hop. Just imagine if you were put that much time into something else. Think about this, man. Imagine if you were put that much. Yo, this shit is an epic setup, man. Just think about this shit, right? I want you to really think about this shit, right? Niggas be like, yeah, the origins of hip hop. We need to take it back to the origins. Look, bro, let's go back to the origins of hip hop. It was a clown. All them niggas was clowns. Do you understand, nigga, when did hip hop start in the middle of what era? Nigga, we was getting sprayed by firemen, nigga, we was getting beat, we was getting treated wrong, all type of shit in the world. And niggas was in the street dancing on cardboard doing a robot. Come on now, dog. Hip hop itself has always been a distraction from the beginning. It has always been a distraction from the very beginning. It has always been the cancer, all of it. 
And not only is it a cancer, they know what music is. Entertainment itself is a distraction. They, the people who pay these rappers, they know what music is. So they go, you know what? We gonna get this dumb nigga a million dollars, right? Look, I want y'all to think about this. Lil Pump went to Harvard. I want you to really think about this, right? I want you to think about this. Lil Pump went to Harvard. I don't give a fuck if he dropped out. He still went. You know what that mean, right? No, no, no. You know what it means to even get to Harvard? No, 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 no. You don't, you're not understanding what I'm saying. Do you know what you have to do to even get to Harvard in the first place? I don't give a fuck if you dropped out. What you have to do to get to Harvard? Bruh. One of the greatest, one of the greatest shenanigans in the world. I'm going to trick all of y'all niggas into dropping out. You guys, I ain't going to learn nothing. I don't want to learn shit, nigga. I ain't going to Harvard, nigga. I don't want to go to school. I'm a little pump. I don't want to learn nothing. But he really already got the knowledge. It ain't like he dropped out before he went. He went and then dropped out. Right? So what I'm saying is this. Whether he went to Harvard or whether he didn't get to Harvard, the more the story is he got accepted. What I'm saying is this. Sometimes I get on YouTube, right? Sometimes I get on YouTube and I really think about this shit and I go, you know what? Look at all of this information that nobody never knew about. You could literally ask anything. Wait, 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 wait. You got to get blocked, dog. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for blocking you, but you got to get blocked. We're in the middle of talking about the greatest shit in the world, and you're going to ask me when my next battle. I don't give a fuck if you a fan. You getting blocked. Sorry. You just, you need to learn a lesson. Right? But think about this. You could literally get on YouTube. Right? You could get on YouTube and you could literally type in anything you want to know. But this is the fucked up part about it. People could go to YouTube and can't find shit because their mentality is so clogged that they don't even know what to search for. Right? They don't even know what to search for. Because their mentality is so fucked, they get online, type right in the rapper's name. Right? So I realized this. I realized this. Rappers are low key teachers. I realize this. Rappers are teachers, right? We are a form of teacher. I mean, hip hop is a school, right? Hip hop itself is a school, and rappers are the teacher. So think about what they're teaching the youth, right? Hip hop so fucked up. Hip hop so fucked up that it is a bad thing to be smart in the hip hop community. It's a bad thing to be smart. Niggas be like, oh, that nigga a weirdo geek ass nigga. That nigga a geek. I don't fuck with bro. He like on some geek shit. That nigga be read books and shit, dumbass nigga. And this nigga read books and shit. Yo, hip-hop fucked up, dog. 
He lame. He know a lot. He lame. Yo. How come? Think about this, right? How many rappers? How many rappers know how to make their own recording software? How many rappers say, you know what? I don't really care about making this song. I want to learn how Pro Tools work. I want to make my own Pro Tools design just for me. How many rappers actually design their own recording program? Huh? How many rappers know how to create an Adobe Photoshop computer designing program? How many rappers know how to video game program? How many rappers understand how TV works? How many rappers understand how plasma TV works? How many rappers understand anything? How many rappers understand anything? God. Yo, this shit is an epic setup. Like, it's like a super epic setup, bro. It's like, it's like a setup to the point to where I'm really starting to really, really, really like look at this shit for what it is. Yo, niggas is fucked, bro. No, they don't know. I've been in the studios with most of your favorite rappers. They don't know shit. Like, they don't know a goddamn... I've been in the studio with most of your face. Some of your biggest rappers, niggas barely know how to work the boards. Nigga, you been in the studio for how many years? You don't know how to cut the volume up? These niggas is stupid, dog. Nigga, how you been in the studio for over 20 years and we still waiting on the engineer? Like, nigga, you don't know how to press record? Nigga, file new, create new project, add a track... Uh, connect the bus back to that track nigga and press motherfucking record nigga click the red button with the circle and hit the space bar record nigga you don't know how to do that you've been in here for 20 years yo what I'm saying is this hey Hip hop is a distraction, and the people that support hip hop the most, they know it's a distraction. The people that support every form of entertainment, they know it's a distraction. Everyone. The people that support basketball, when you look in the crowd, you see how many black people? You see the black niggas on the court. You see who in the crowd. You go to one of these big festival concerts. You see black niggas on the stage. Who in the crowd. So what I'm saying is this is all part of an epic plan. It's all part of an epic design to distract people. I'm telling y'all what I've been focusing on. For the last six months and the last two years. Is magnets. The power of magnet. Magnets are not fascinating to y'all. Magnets are extremely fascinating to me because they can do things that clearly defies the law of gravity. Magnets. In order for y'all to even listen to music, you need magnets. In order... For you to even hear me talking right now, the phone needs magnets. Every speaker has magnets. That's called a speaker for a reason. Right? Magnets, they are an important thing to this world and we undermine them. I've been studying magnets though, and how magnets work properties of magnets designed with other metals i've been studying magnets dog i've been
been really in studying magnets. Then when you study magnets and you get into the earth magnetic crust and all type of shit and you calculate that by the iron that we eat and then it's like, yo, it's a lot going on. Magnets can be used to pull you down and magnets can be used to blast your motherfucking ass away. But sound itself needs magnets. Sound. There's no such thing as sound without magnets. You're not going to hear nothing in the world out of a car speaker unless it has magnets. But that's just something I'm focusing on. I'm also focusing on lasers. I'm also focusing on all type of other shit. Right? I'm also focused on frequency. I'm also focusing on all type of other shit. But the fact is. Hip hop niggas are not telling niggas to focus on anything. Think about the top 10 songs on the radio right now. What they talking about. Yo, I talk to Drake damn near every other day, right? I talk to Drake damn near every other day. I hit bro, check in. What's good, bro? You good? Y'all, what's good, bro? You know what I'm saying? Just doing my shit, boo. All right, cool, bro. Right? So I remember one day I hit Drake. I'm like, yo, Drake, hey, bro, like, you should do a song. Because you know how, like, everybody comparing Drake to, like, Kendrick Lamar and all these rappers, J. Cole, you feel me? They like, nigga, Kendrick better than Drake, J. Cole better than Drake. And I'm like, yo, Drake. You know how you could take over the world right now. Right? You know how you could blow all of them out the matrix? All you got to do is make a song about eating healthy. If Drake made a song about a sexy ass vegan girl. I told him, I said, Yo, just make a song about a sexy vegan girl. I just want you to. Eat healthy, eat healthy. I just love your body. She healthy. Boom. Right? If he made a song about going vegan, going green, he had changed the entire spectrum of the female community. He would change the entire spectrum. Of the female community. Every bitch in the world. Would go vegan because of Drake. Everyone. 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 I said yo Drake. You should make a song about learning. It's cool. Nigga I'm learning. Hey. Nigga I'm learning. Hey. Hey. I got bus, 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 so much bus, bus, yeah. I got bus, 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 so much bus. Nigga, I'm learning, yeah, yeah. Nigga, I'm learning, yeah, yeah. Right. I just spent a thousand at the library, yeah, yeah. I just spent a thousand at the library. Nigga, I made, yeah. Do you understand that these rappers could change the entire spectrum of the world? Right? They could change the entire spectrum of the world. So my moral of this is to say, I talk to Drake every day. He reply. I hear Drake. Yo, what's good, bro? What's good, bro? I sent Drake this message. No reply. So I didn't say nothing. I just let it sit for like months. No reply. Months passed. Then I hear Drake, what's good, bro? You good? Happy birthday, my nigga. Oh, what's up, bro? Thanks you. Good looks to the shout out. Like, nigga, you didn't see that message right at the top? You just gonna ignore it, huh? You just gonna ignore that message at the top? Yo, look, bro. Either this rap game is the movie Get Out, and all of these niggas under a spell, or they really, really don't give a fuck, right? Nigga, I'm learning. Yeah, yeah. I just want a vegan. I just want. You know how Drake be doing all this singing shit. So what I'm saying is this, right? Y'all see what Kendrick doing. Kendrick trying to tell the world that he Jesus. Go get his dumb ass killed. 
You see what Kendrick trying to like, nigga, you better stop playing with this Jesus shit, dog. This nigga coming on boats as the Messiah, nigga. Niggas giving this nigga bread in the new videos and shit. Nigga, you'll get your dumb ass killed just like Jesus. Nigga, better stop playing. I think I should about to get that nigga bread in the video. Like, bro, you better shit your motherfucking ass down, Kendrick. Nigga gave that nigga bread like, oh, the Messiah. Nigga, that nigga Kendrick was like, be humble, be humble, nigga, be humble. Nigga, you'll get your dumb ass killed. Nigga, you better stop playing. No, like, who who are we, who are we as a people to say that Kendrick Lamar is not Jesus, right? Who are we as a people to say that he ain't Jesus? Who are we? I fucks with Kendrick. I fucks with Kendrick. Right? He most definitely has did something to the world that a lot of people haven't did. He most definitely has made sacrifices and he's most definitely fought against the program. But overall, anyway. Hey, <laughs>